News 8 at Sunrise in high definition continues. Well, welcome back. Uh, Anthony Mangiamelli from Instaro and Company back with us. Anthony, good to see you. Thanks for having me back, Mark. So today we're talking about the importance of financial planning, having a good financial plan together. Uh, first of all, why is that important? Well, financial planning is important for many reasons. By having a financial plan in place and setting your financial goals correctly, it can help you avoid financial setbacks, debt credit problems, and major life changes. All right, let's talk about financial setbacks. How can having a good plan in place make a difference there? Well, the best way to avoid a financial setback is to make sure you save enough money. Mm -hmm. And a great tool in helping you with that is by setting up a monthly budget. That'll include your income, your expenses, your savings, and your investments. And in doing this, it helps you set your long-term financial goals and helps you manage your short-term budget much way easier. Uh, let's talk about uh, major life changes because throughout life people are going to experience those kinds of changes that are either anticipated in some cases unanticipated uh, how is having a good plan in place uh, helpful in that regard yeah, as you just touched life unexpected so it's best to be prepared for that in unexpected the best you can and you know I would recommend that you have purchased various insurance policies such as life insurance short-term and long-term disability insurance because these insurances will help you and your family maintain your financial goals in the event you're out of work for an extended period of time. And we talked last week about the importance of long-term care, disability insurance. Let's talk about looking ahead to retirement. That's, that's a component in a good financial plan as well, right? Personally, I believe that is the most important topic when we're talking about financial planning is to have that solid retirement plan in place. I recommend make sure you maximize every benefit your employer has to offer. Nowadays, many companies have retirement plans you can participate in, such as a 401k plan. Let's talk about the, the, the idea of avoiding debt and, and credit issues as well as part of a good, healthy financial plan. Yeah, as I mentioned earlier, you know, create that budget and stick to it. Also, pay your bills in full, and when you're using your credit cards, make sure you're only purchasing items you know you can afford to pay for. Start planning early and set measurable and obtainable financial goals. Okay. For, for those who feel sort of overwhelmed by this process, you know, what can they do? Well, you know, I would recommend reach out to a certified financial advisor or reach out to your local CPA to the extent they have a wealth strategy planning group capacity in their firm. Mm -hmm. Okay, and, and they can assist with it as well. Absolutely. Hey, Anthony, thank you. Obviously, it's an important subject, an ongoing subject for our viewers. Appreciate the advice this morning. Thank you very much. Uh, if you missed any of our conversation, we'll be sharing it online as well. You'll find it at rochesterfirst.com.